this is my new Zoom H6. And naturally, the first thing I want to do with it is do some comparison, some kind of shootout. And naturally, I want it to be recording acoustic guitar because that's what the Homebrewed Music blog is all about. Um, I have some terrible news, some, a horrible confession to make. I tried to level match the clips in my comparison. I failed completely. I was trying to maintain stereo imaging at the same time that I matched the levels, and I just, it was too hard. And in, so I'm in a hurry to get the clips up. I'm putting them up with pretty crude level matching. So a lot of the difference you hear is due to that level difference, not really a difference between one recorder and another one set of mics and another. There are four comparisons coming up after this, actually just little excerpts from the comparisons in this video. We'll start off tonight with the uh, Zoom H6 and the Zoom H2N. Now, I don't have a Zoom H4N, which is what a lot of people are comparing the H6 to, but the H2N has very similar uh, audio performance, I think, with the built-in mics. And now I'll run a test tone into the Zoom H2N and the H6. Uh, we'll do a little number called Cully Pony. Uh, we'll do a little number called Cully Pony the Sony PCM D50. We're using the H6 mic module uh, XY and an XY pair on a, a Rode NT4 stereo microphone. The Rode NT4 feeding the Zoom H6 and a pair of Shure KSM-141s also in, in Cardioid XY feeding the RME UFX. I've got complete clips of those comparisons on the Homebrewed Music website. There will be a link in the description of this video to send you uh, to the right location to get those files and download them to your computer and listen to them yourself to try to get an idea of the quality of the Zoom H6 in comparison to these other devices. I personally am pretty impressed. From the listening I've done, it sounds like the Zoom H6 has overcome the noise problem that's been, I guess, the Achilles heel of Zoom and other small recorders, uh, especially when they're run at higher gain. I hope you find the information in this video and at the Homebrew Music blog post useful.